are, we are kind of getting through it. So come spring, I probably don't have sufficient digestate to put out on all of the fields. We're going to have to be selective. I think the, s the planter um, for the sunflowers does have um, fertilizer in it so we could just go with that and then a late spray on the field. Uh, most of our fertilizer application is, is spraying when it's not natural or digestate. But, uh, I do have a big spreader but I could only really use that to spread solid fertilizer immediately after planting. I think our cedar doesn't have facilities for um, fertilizer. Um, well, we'll just have to live with it. circuit. Oh, kind of on the outer edge of the, uh, the pattern at the local airport. So depending which way the wind's blowing we'll either get aircraft overhead or not. And even then it depends how wide they take the turn. Okay. Did I pass the... Uh, the bus stop. person has a challenge. Walk around the house three times every day. And she'll get ice cream the next time her uh, worker comes to visit. So that's now a thing. Okay, we are back to the field. Yay. And we can load from here, turn the light off, turn the engine off so it's not charging us for the tank. Should be around 100% if it's anything. Is it wool pallet, herbicide barrels, death barrels, herbicide barrels, Thunder Creek equipment? zero days, 0 0.3 hours we've, we've been charged for it so far. So once that hits one, we'll get another charge on it. Okay, this should be full. Do I? Yeah. I'm just going to finish off the bottom of the field so that it's all set. And I'll probably run the tank, tank dry or as dry as I can do coming up once. Probably not supposed to do this on the move, but uh, what do I know? Okay, lots of lights. There's the bit I missed. Okay. Across to the 
the end because I think I ran out part way. But yeah, it's getting a little bit difficult to see where we've been, where we've not been because of the light levels. So doing this tomorrow is probably my best choice now. There's a tree. Tree may get in the way of the uh, spreader too. Yeah. Okay. So if we can reverse this straight. Okay. We're clear. Run down to the bottom. So I'll run up here, we'll top mm -hmm. off the tank. You get it good? And uh, yeah, pick this up. Game day tomorrow. Probably stream day next week. So at this point we're expecting next week we'll have the kids in town or in the home. So there will be noises and three-year-olds coming out saying, am I in that? Are you in that? This is working out okay. As I said, it's a little bit dark to see. with it as it is. For now. Is this the end of the field? Uh, there's the building on the right, so we must be close to the top. Oh yeah, and I can fill out that little little piece there that gets missed because of. And we are done. I'll top off the tank. down to the yard. It's good, lights off. Tank is full, engine off. And we'll wander back to the yard. So, that is midfall, day three. Tomorrow will be day four. I'll check the weather and other things. So it's getting kind of dark. We might be able to go to sleep early as well. Because I can't do anything because I can't see. I can see perfectly. Okay, so what are we looking at? We are looking at the state of the field. So yeah, that's a good the amount down there. Um, we got two rows on that side. We're going to use up a lot of digestate on that tomorrow. Potentially all of the stuff we've got. Um, not worried about that at the moment. Um, still got fifty thousand. It's the problem. So many of my save games at the moment have got about £50,000 in the bank. I'm not even sure how much we've done. Uh, or, yeah, which one's got which which amount. I think one of them's up to about 70000 So, cultivated 22 hectares. We drove 32 miles. We worked 32. So, we've done had 10 hectares of um, slurry spreading, I would guess. Cultivated 22, we've done 32. So that's 10. So we've got another 12 hectares or acres to do um, with the slurry tank. Um, which bears out 9.8. It's fine. 
Oh, let's check here. Oh, did I? Oh, that's why it's getting so dark so fast. I sped up time. That's good. Um, okay, so that's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be here. Um, okay, so today was sunny, and it's going to be sunny all the way through to midnight. Yeah, right. Uh, tomorrow is going to be dull and overcast until midnight when the sun comes up. Yeah, right. Um, then, so this is mid-fall. Late fall is going to be raining and sunny. And then Monday is the start of winter when it's going to be sunny. And a good temperature. Snow on Tuesday. So that's that's pretty much when stuff stops happening. Um, so second day of winter, there's going to be snow on the ground. There's not going to be much in the way of harvesting going on. Our sheep are um, going to need some food in the morning. Point four years, point three years. So we're expecting a few sheep over the coming days. That's good. Um, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Yes. Sheep prices are climbing on wheat. I don't think we've got barley. I think we have oats climbing on oats. Canola we have climbing on canola. Um, sunflowers we just missed the sale but we hadn't harvested in time, I don't think. I think we harvested on that day. So we're going to have to wait till spring to send the sunflowers, sugar beets, we're climbing towards the peak price. Uh, wool is not until late spring, so we'll have a load more wool when that happens. So everything is good, everything is awesome. Let's uh, turn the flashlight on so we can see the front door. Find the bed. And because I did have it on times 15, we'll be, we will be able to sleep now. I completely forgot about speeding up time, so it's 20, 100. So I want to sleep about 12 hours. That's not the button to press. That's the button to press. Sleep for 11. I'll take care of the sheep in the morning. So, vehicle leasing costs 4500 Ooh, that's pricey. Um, oh, that's because it's, yeah, that's the first lease payment total. So, not as pricey as I thought. Daily cost now, we're, we're going to run a, the daily cost of renting the tank today. It's pitch dark outside. Hi, puppy. Have, have food. Oh. Okay, so how are the sheep feeling today? The sheep are feeling um, kind of more hungry. <coughs> so I'll go get some hay bales. That kind of looks like at least two. Okay, let's go find ourselves some bales of hay. I really do need the, uh, the bigger spike. So I can carry two bales at a time because currently we're kind of dodgy. Huh? It's night time. I did sleeping. It's early morning now. 
Okay. Yeah, as you can see, a little bit tidier than they were last week. And similar over that side as well. Okay, there we go. Very, very carefully. As there are all sorts of bumps in the road and on here. I was thinking I could get myself a, a, a telehandler to replace this with. Gonna wait till the Alpine DLC comes out and we'll see uh, what the vision is like. There we go, that's filling the water. Uh, that's me walking into a bale of hay. Okay, hi sheep, got your food. Filling up the water, there it goes, and that's done. Of hay and we'll stab the other one and dink gone. Okay, so we now have watered sheep, not enough for a full bale, they're relatively clean, so that's fine. Quick check on uh, Yeah. So overnight we didn't change a day, but that's I'm I'm not sure how that worked. The point four years is kind of four and a bit months. And what are we doing? This early is two. It is two. It is two. So there's six. Um, there's three periods per season, so that's twelve. Um, so every two days is a month. One game day is the equivalent of 15 uh, real-time days, which is one of the reasons why I don't mind doing something like um, mowing, tedding, baling and collecting all on the same day, because in real-life terms that's 15 days of uh, real-world time passage. You're playing with longer seasons, obviously, um, the realism thing stretched a little further. Where is my uh, uh, Oh, there's the, that's the orchard. Okay. This can go in here. Sheep are going to be good for the day. Drop off. Wait. Oh, no. actually, we'll go back a little bit. Then we'll drop off. Right. Okay. I'm kind of not sure whether to keep a small tractor with a front loader or go with a, an alternate medium tractor. Each time. That one, again, pitch it on, lights on, where is it, there it is, and as you can see this one is much closer to uh, needing a service, so this can go into the workshop for the morning and we'll change the oil and filters and everything else and make it all nice and shiny like new or something. I wonder if there's a, a light switch around here. That would be kind of handy. There's a light switch. Oh, that's an outside. 
outside light switch? Is there an inside light switch? Does this barn have lights? No, that bit doesn't have lights, and oh, well, the workshop doesn't have lights as well. We should do something about that. Just changing the oil at night time is probably going to result in all sorts of problems. Okay, we'll fix that. We will fix that, although that really doesn't need much fixing, and we'll fix that because that really does need a lot of fixing. Okay, so tractor's fixed. You can see well, only 977 pounds to uh, fix that. It is now midday. So I'll turn that light off. Oh, that, why is that? Oh, well, that door's open because uh, makes it easier to reverse into there to sell bales when we do that. I seem to recall that the cow shed, the cow field, is unlocked. Shut that too. And all of a sudden, my keyboard stops working. Okay, so that is 7.30 in the morning nearly. Time for breakfast. Since the sheep have had theirs. And keyboard's locked up again. Oh, there we go. Uh, what was I going to look up? Oh, contracts. Uh, still just bailing and transporting, so nothing we're interested in. And finish up for the morning. Hi, doggy. And, uh, yeah. We have one chair and a table. Yeah, I always forget to close the door. Tiny TV. There's a tiny TV. That's tiny. Yeah, that's something on the wall. It's all about. We've only got one set of lights. <laughs> no lights in the hallway. Upstairs. No, it's a pain in the butt to get up and downstairs. Because of the width of the stairs and how bad Farm Sim does its things. So, I think we'll look out the window at the sunrise. And... Uh, consider breakfast but uh, for right now I forget I think we filled the tanker up so we can actually make a start on the rest of this field and we're gonna have to run down to the BGA later to uh, get some more digest aid but for right now I think we're gonna call it for the day have a good weekend everybody um, I will be back probably on Thursday with some more on good time and we get into the point now where that's going to fast wind through winter. Crop sales and stuff like that. And then we'll be back here next week with kids running around and uh, making lots of background noise. But for right now, I'm out of here. Have fun, everybody.